Yes, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Yo, this your boy, Warzone Jones, coming right at you with a pro wrestling related topic video. And you know, what I want to talk about is a little different than what I normally would talk about about when it comes to the topic of pro wrestling. But what I want to talk about is, is, is how pro wrestling probably influenced my behavior in school. So elementary school, high school, it really did definitely influence my behavior. And when I say my behavior, I'm talking about my bad attitude. When I was in elementary school, when I was in high school, I definitely had a bad attitude pretty much every single time. And, you know, around towards the late 90s, we were getting the attitude era. And in the attitude era, we had all these real defiant characters who had attitude. They did what they want. They said what they want at any given time that they want. They all had authority problems. That's exactly what I had. So when I'm watching my favorite wrestlers who have these authority problems like D-Generation X and Stone Cold Steve Austin, when I see that, guess what? I want to be that guy. When I'm looking at that and I'm, and I'm looking at these guys basically saying, hey, we do whatever the hell we want, I want to be that guy. And when I see that, man, like, it, it just influenced me because I definitely had an authority problem. I didn't like when my teachers told me what to do. I was the type of guy who was determined to do what I want, say what I want at any time that I want, especially if it was have, if I if I was having fun. If you was gonna tell me to sit down, I probably wasn't gonna sit down. Even if I did, I was definitely gonna get a little attitude. So my attitude definitely got me in trouble, and I definitely got whippings uh, for it too. So when I got home and I got a whipping. Um, guess what? I always knew I was just going to bounce back the next day or maybe the next week. Um, I was probably going to tone it down a little bit because I just got in trouble by my mother. But ultimately, I was just going to go back to doing that same pattern and getting the attitude, doing whatever the hell I want to. They say we're not supposed to curse. I cursed all the time. Me, personally, I thought looking like a tough guy was cool and fun. So it didn't matter. It didn't matter who it was, um, whether it be um, getting into it with a teacher, a principal, or another student, for example. If it made me look like a tough guy, I thought it was cool, honestly. So, watching wrestling, I truly believe, helped influence that type of nature that I definitely had. Uh, like I said, man, like, like Steve Austin, he was against authority. DX was against authority, The Rock. These are all individuals who just did and said whatever the hell they want. And at that time period, man, wrestling was so damn cool. We had all these cool characters. Uh, also, if you take guys like the NWO, uh, especially like the NWO Red and Black Wolfpack, you might hear that music in the background. You hear it? Yeah, the NWO Wolfpack Red and Black. Uh, I love that entrance music. I love that, that entrance music. Um, one of the, the the words that are seen in the entrance music that is rap is is Wolfpack is back causing mass destruction. Can't you see the bad boys of wrestling? I liked it, that shit. So <laughs> wrestling, man, it, it 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 influenced definitely probably my bad behavior. So even when in high school, I'm just basically getting worse because this time I'm bigger. See me, I, I was bigger than a lot of guys physically. Uh, I, I'm about six foot six. So by the time I got in high school, I was about maybe five foot nine or five foot ten when I was like 14 years old. So I'm bigger than most people in my class. So I definitely felt big and bad because I was definitely bigger than most people. And then you know, also again, you know, wrestling was changing. We was just, when I was in high school, we was getting more into the ruthless aggression era. We was getting people like like John Cena and Brock Lesnar, for example, the the more newer badass evolution had um, also just arrived in the scene during like my freshman year of high school and I remember I thought Evolution was amazing. I thought they was cool. They also to me made me think that acting like a badass was cool. So plus again, I see that I want to be like those guys. I want to be that guy. I want to be that badass that does and says whatever he wants. So like I said, it definitely got me into trouble. Um, I got into trouble definitely many, 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 many times. At one point, I remember the principal actually called the police on me because according to her, the last time that she did it, this was my senior year, according to her, 
she 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 claimed that I threatened her, but the reality is I definitely didn't I didn't threaten her. Um, I didn't even go to jail. They called the police, but all the police did was just talk to me. Like they didn't even put me in handcuffs or anything like that. It was just one officer came up in there. We talked talked about what had happened. The woman said I threatened her because I had told another teacher get this woman away from me. I didn't say get this woman away from me or else I'm going to slap her or else I'm going to kill her or anything like that. No, all I said was get this woman away from me because she was getting on my nerves definitely and by me again having that, that authority problem because she was trying to ask what my school ID was and I just walked away from her because I got tired of her like talking to me about that crap. But again, um, I had an authority problem and again, I thought having an authority problem made me look cool. See, that's how dumb I was back in school. <laughs> and when you were in, in your, your school days, when you, you're, you're immature, you're ignorant. Uh, I was definitely a little bit of a bully. I, I talked trash about people on a regular basis. Why? Because it was fun. When someone was doing it to me or I was doing it to them, I was definitely going to do it back because it was fun. So, that's all I wanted to uh, talk about, um, really. And uh, also, you know, I remember around that time period wrestling, man. People used to talk about wrestling in schools. I don't know if they do it, do that today because, hell, I'm not in school anymore. But I remember just talking about wrestling all the time in, in the middle of class. So the teacher used to say, well, like, y'all be quiet. Y'all be quiet. No, you're not going to be quiet. Why? Because we don't feel like we have to. We're going to do whatever the hell what we want to do. We like that. We like looking like the NWO. We like looking like DX. We like looking like evolution. We like looking like people who's going to do and say whatever the hell that we want, uh, what we want to do. We have an authority problem, and we're proud of it. Especially me. I was definitely <laughs> proud of it. Was I definitely an asshole? Oh, you bet your ass I was. I remember there was another time when I told my principal uh, to, um, because she asked me about my ID. She said, um, Jonathan, where's your ID? <laughs> And I say, it's up my ass. <laughs> Again, that was stupid, right? It's a stupid response, but it's an arrogant, defiant response. And again, I have an authority problem, so I didn't care. And also, it was fun. It felt good telling her that. So I'm pretty sure that lady had enough of me. Uh, it was almost kind of like Stone Cold Steve Austin and, and, and Vince McMahon type relationship <laughs> with, with it. With the with the wrestler and the authority figure going at it with each other, but um, I just wanted to share it with you. This is Welcome Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe my channel. I'm out. Use this.